This is Dr. Sajjan Sani from Data Science Department. Today I am here to discuss you about uh, principles of Internet of Things. In this particular course, I am going to discuss about the introduction to M2M or M2M bus. It is a machine to machine IoT system which I am going to discuss today. In this module, we are going to discuss about introduction to M2M and what are the different types of uh, things which are existed in this M2M. Like have a keep you what we are going to discuss today along with the course of the overview and what are the course uh, objectives and course outcomes and what are the what was the topic which we are going to discuss today the first introduction to machine to machine have a look what exactly principles of IoT was uh, we already discussed in the previous classes also this particular course is going to provide us a good understanding about the concepts which are existed in this particular internet of things and what are the different kinds of applications which we are going to use and what are the different kinds of protocols which we are going to use and students are going to explore different kinds of principles which are there in this IoT systems which are underlying and also they are knowing about the architecture of this particular IoT systems and also the networking structure and what are the different kinds of sensors which are presented which are used in this particular IoT system and how we are going to manage the data and how the security is going to be taken care and what are the different kinds of emerging trends which are existed in this particular Internet of Things particular course. These are the course uh, overview. These things are going to be known by after completion of this particular course. And have a look. What are the different kinds of uh, objectives which we aimed uh, by learning from this particular course. Here I am going to provide you a good understanding about the IoT concepts along with the different kinds of technology and different kinds of applications which we are using in this particular Internet of Things. And also, here I am going to equip you with a good practical skills in interfacing by using the Raspberry Pi kits and also by using sensors such as temperature sensors, gas sensors, thermoresistors, like this multiple sensors and accreditors are going to be used whenever we are performing the practical sessions. And also the IoT system development, how a particular IoT system is going to be designed. And by using this course, I am making you familiarize about the network management and the cloud computing techniques which are relevant to our IoT. And what IoT, I already told you, Internet of Things. Internet is everything here. And also, here we are aiming for developing the critical thinking as well as problem solving abilities we are going to achieve from this particular course. These are the objectives which students are going to learn from this. After completion of this successful uh, course by learning about the five modules, we you people are be able for designing and implementing a good IoT system. Take an example, home automation system. Home automation system was a type of application which we are able to design and implement physically in our homes also by learning this Internet of Things. And we are able to analyze what kind of IoT requirements are there for the particular customer. And also we are able to apply the data pre-processing techniques where students are going to know about the data pre-process and the, how the data is going to be analyzed from the, uh, from the data gathered from the IoT devices which are established and also they are able to extract the valuable insights which are based on the analytical decisions which are designed, which are analyzed from the data which is extracted from the IoT devices and have a look we are knowing about uh, how to implement different kinds of security measures, how we are going to implement uh, these security measures to protect the IoT system. As I told you, home automation system. In a home automation system, we have deployed a number of uh, devices in our home. And each device is having a unique IP address. If that unique IP address is known by someone, they are going to hack your uh, concern IoT uh, device with that our security is going to be 
then what kind of measures we are taking how we are in including it like authentication how we are encrypting how we are controlling these uh, particular devices all these things can be comes under this particular security measures as i told you after successful uh, completion of this particular course you guys are able to design and implement the iot systems and you are able to analyze the iot requirements and you are also able to apply the data pre processing as well as the uh, security concerns have a look these are the things which we are going to get after completion of this particular course along with this particular course you are able to evaluate different kinds of iot applications such as multiple domains are there multiple factors are there such as uh, scalability reliability cost effectiveness these are the things which comes under evaluating of our iot application in the same way how we are going to communicate and how we are going to collaborate effectively in this particular iot system here we are uh, making some proficiency about communicating between the technical uh, things as well as the non technical things also with the customers who are our stakeholders and here we are collaborating very effectively by using the complex to iot related issues this is the second feature and also we are able to adapt the emerging iot trends day by day the iot trends are going to be changed there was there will be a lot of enhancements there are lot of advancements which are in both iot systems as well as iot applications we are going to adapt to those scenarios very effectively these are the things which we are able to know after a successful completion of this particular course and now in today's session we are uh, discussing about Uh, our second module which is iot networks and management this particular module is completely focus on what kind of internet of things network was and what kind of internet of things management was here we are focusing majorly on network system as well as management system what are the things which are existed in this particular iot network and management system have a look in this iot network and management systems we are having a few topics let me have a quick view about these particular topics the first major topic was iot and m2m what iot was iot is a internet of things and what m2m was m2m stands for machine to machine and this iot and m2m are merged together and we are doing iot network and management concern there are some software defined networks which are going to tell you how we are going to define a particular network with the help of a software and there are some network uh, function virtualization how this virtualization is going to happen and we are also knowing about the difference between sdn software development network and nfp right which are related to our iot system and also we are knowing about some basics about this particular iot system and also we are knowing about some particular management structures such as netconf and net configuration and and smp netfire these are the things which we are knowing from this particular iot network and management system and have a look what was the first thing which we are knowing today and what are the different kinds of objectives and what are the different kinds of outcomes after knowing this particular iot network and management system we are mainly focused here about network and management so we may are making ensure what kind of reliability and what kind of connectivity was there between the particular devices were using our network and we should be known what kind of secure communication is happening and you are also going to provide efficient data for managing the things and here we are optimizing the device performance as well as we are simplifying the network management concerns these are the objectives which we assume for knowing about this particular iot network and management system after successful completion of this particular module discussions in the coming classes also i am going to discuss about net config and uh, and multiple type of management things which are related to our iot have a look here what are the things which we are going to get after successful completion of this particular module here students are going to uh, students are able to know how 
to improve the operational efficiency how the operation of this particular iot system efficiency has to be improved and how to enhance the security in this particular iot system how the scalability and growth is increasing rapidly in the different kinds of iot systems and students are also able to reduce the downtime as well as they are able to improve the customers efficient from system to system these are the things which we are going to get after successful discussion of this particular concept called iot network and management system in this iot network and management system let's start with discussing about machine to machine what machine to machine what m2m sir we are discussing about internet of things what machine was uh, how machine was linked here and uh, we, you guys are having questions and the machine was the thing here the different things m2m as I told you machine to machine which refers to there is a network between these machines machines are nothing but the devices which we are placing in our iot systems here it refers to the networking of machines for a particular purpose of monitoring as well as controlling these particular machine controlling these devices which are placed in our iot systems for also exchanging information from one device to other device have a look towards the diagram which go, which is going to show you how the machine to machine gateway has been connected how the things are going to communicated by, by using the network have a look here these are the m to m area networks and this is m to m core network in between we have placed a gateway which is machine to machine gateway if you observed m to m area network there are multiple areas which are resided see here there are four different areas which are resided in the area network from this area we are getting a connection to the gateway and from this gateway we are linked with a wireless network which is m to m core network in this m to m core network we are uh, going and communicating with the m to m applications which what kind of applications we are having see here how the internally the things are how the wireless network by using signals uh, let me tell you uh, with a good explanation by taking a real time example for suppose everyone in nowadays are using electronic gadgets such as your smartphones and how we are getting that particular network this particular smartphone will be treated as a machine from this particular machine to one another machine how we are able to communicate there is a proper gateway which is directing us by using a signal tower and by using a specific application we are able to communicate with each other by using a specific application we are exchanging the data uh by taking some particular app messaging app whatever you can consider it as these are the things which are going to be there in this machine to machine and there are some few points which we need to be discussed in this machine to machine as i told you in this machine to machine there are some network which are going to compromise the nodes by using embedded hardware software there are some communication protocols which are going to be used in this particular machine to machine such as uh, like uh, zigbee bluetooth modbus ambus wireless ambus power line communication which is plc and six low pan which is six low area wifi pan area network and also ieee 802.15.4 etc like this multiple protocols are going to be used for making a good communication between this machine to machine and here we are using a communication networks for giving a connectivity to the machine to machine area network and also a particular network is used either in wireless mode or in wireless uh, wired mode wired or wireless both can be used in this particular network here in this machine to machine area network we are using a non ip based communication protocols and also some communication networks are going to use the ip based networks also both ip based as well as non ip based protocols are going to be encouraged here have a look how the things are set it out how in this machine to machine if you observe the scenario by placing an iot system the first one is if there is an accident which is emerged on a particular smart road the car and car has been get slashed now a small alert has been generated after the clash and the data will be transferred with the help of a network which is machine to machine 
by using a network, a machine to machine network area where the data is going to send to remote servers. From this remote servers, it is going to send a particular signal to the nearest hospital and the emergency services which are going to be get alerted in the third phase. And the first phase is accident has been happened. In the second case, the data has been sent to remote server and from there, third case, servers are receiving that particular data and passing information through the network to nearest hospitals and nearest ambulances and nearest doctors and nearest paramedics. All these things are interconnected. Whenever an incident has been occurred with the help of our IoT systems, it is very easy to communicate the nearest people and uh, the information was passed to the nearest uh, uh, hospital as well as ambulance. And also immediately while sending information to the ambulance as well as to the nearest tower, the things are going to be get segregated. After that, the information will be the doctors are going to take care and they will prescribe some medicines to the nearest paramedic is going to be alerted automatically. The things are going to be served and the patient vitals are automatically transferred to ambulance via doctors. These are the things which are happening with this machine to machine communication by using our machine to machine network as well as machine to machine communication channels. And how we are going to differentiate this M2M, machine to machine and IoT, how the things are, as I specified you, M2M, which is abbreviated as machine to machine communication, whereas IoT, which is abbreviated as Internet of Things. And here in M2M, it is purely about concentrating on machine to machine communication, whereas in IoT, we are majorly focusing on sensor automation and Internet platform. As you all know, in IoT system, every IoT device is uh, having a particular sensor for suppose take an example camera camera is going is having a sensor which is in, which is uh, an inner part by motion sensor automatically the camera starts recording the data like how this automation which is connected to internet and here in machine to machine it is a point to point communication system whereas in iot it was a cloud based communication system and here in this machine to machine there is no necessary relay on our particular internet, no need to depend on internet here. And here in IoT, we have to be compulsory, depend on the internet. Here in machine to machine, it is purely based on hardware. Whereas in IoT, it is both based on hardware as well as software. And whereas in machine to machine, these are going to communicate with a single machine at one time. Whereas in IoT, we can communicate with many machines through the internet. Here we are using a non-IP based protocols whereas in IoT we are using IP based and here it is uh, flexible for business to business whereas IoT is flexible for business to business as well as business to consumer. Here in machine to machine it was a limited number of devices which are going to connect it in a time whereas in IoT there are more number of devices which may be connected at a particular time. Here it, uh, this machine to machine is not going to support any kind of open APIs which is application programming interfaces and in IoT it is going to be supported and the, uh, com coming to the scalability factor in machine to machine it was a less scalable whereas in IoT it is having more scalable factors. These are the differentiations between machine to machine and IoT. And the same things are discussed here by comparing with multiple factors. Have a look, communication protocols, even in both machine to machine as well as IoT, which is going to differ how the communication is going to be happened between machines or devices. And this is going to be used as I told you, non-IP based communication protocols in the by using the area networks, whereas machines in machine to machine and things in IoT. Here we will call the device as machine in M2M services, whereas in IoT we call it as things. Things are nothing but the devices. Here the things in IoT refers to the physical object, which is a technical term, physical object, which can be identified by using a sense. For suppose, in front of that particular device, uh, there will be no senses. Automatically, it is going to be stopped. Whenever there is a sense in front of that particular device, automatically, it is going to communicate with the external environment of the user applications and start 
capturing the data and in whereas in m to m in contrast with iot here there is a homogeneous uh, machine types which are connected with a machine to machine area networks these are the two factors and coming to the next one which is hardware and software emphasis as i told you here we are using hardware by using embedded modules in m to m whereas in iot we are using both hardware as well as software and coming to the next factor which is data collection and analysis whereas in machine to machine the data is going to be collected by using a particular storage infrastructure whereas in iot we are storing the information into cloud either it is a public cloud or a private cloud or a hybrid cloud there are multiple clouds which will be known to you at the time of learning of cloud computing cloud is going to provide a three different kinds of services IAS, PAS, SAS. IAS is a infrastructure as a service. PAS is a platform as a service, and SAS is a software as a service. These are the three different kinds of services which are provided by the cloud computing. In the cloud also, there are three different kinds of clouds, which is public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud. Hybrid is a combination of both public and private. And public is a public cloud is the thing which is used. public by multiple users private cloud is used by the persons who individual that is how the differentiation in cloud sector and coming to the fifth factor which is applications applications are going to play a major role as i told you in machine to machine we are collecting information from a set of things on premises application such as diagnostics management applications premises enterprises whereas in iot we are using this cloud and we are accessing the cloud and also we are analyzing we are doing analytics on the data which is generated and here we are doing diagnostics as well as managing the applications multiple things are done in our iot compared to machine to machine this is the good differentiation about this machine to machine and our internet of things and coming to the next factor which is in this machine to machine there is a proper gateway which has to be utilized between nodes and routers in between nodes and routers why a gateway is required is there any virtual node which has to be placed yes it has to be placed a gateway should play a major role between the nodes and this router and here as it is a non ip related protocol we are using to communicate between node and external network we requires a particular gateways are going to be used in this machine to machine area network i already told you there are certain protocols which are going to be used such as bluetooth zigbee 802.15.4 six low power wireless pan area network yambus wireless ambus uh, wired ambus u wb mode bus jetwave these are the things which are used in our node in between a gateway in this gateway if you observe there are some protocols native protocol protocol transmission proxy like this multiple things are going to be get routed towards the thing see here how the communication is happening in our iot as well as how the communication is happening in our machine to machine i already told you the differentiation between how machine to machine was functioning and how iot is functioning and now i am showing in a form of representation how the communication things are happening from one to other if it is in iot and if it is in machine to machine see here there is this first part is going to discuss with you about iot communication whereas in the second part it is going to show you how machine to machine is going to communicate as i told you previously in machine to machine it is a point to point communication whereas in iot it is going to communicate with one to more if you observe here in application layer we are using http hypertext transfer protocol coaxial cable protocol web sockets message queue telemetry transport xmpp Uh, in the form of mail dds amqp these are the different kinds of protocols which are used in our application layer and coming to the transport layer we are using two different things uh, transportation control protocol and user data gram protocol these are the two layers which are used to communicate in the iot in both the devices these things has to be there and whereas in machine to machine if you observe there are in network layer we are only using three different kind of things either the version 4 or the version 6 or six low 
wireless pan area network whereas in link layer we are using ethernet wifi max cellular networks uh, cellular networks nowadays people are at 5g right and uh, 6g also coming into existence see how much link layer is efficient wireless and wireless pan these are the things how the communication is going to be happen in between the iot as well as in machine to machine things have a look how the software defined network is connected in the overview i am showing multiple things to you in the coming slide also so that you can understand how a particular current network is based between one user to another user how the data is going to be transferred by using a particular protocol how the switches are passing information how the shortest path is finding out between the current network if you observe this diagram shows you how the network relies between for suppose user one wants to transfer data see here he is transferring in this way or else he can transfer the data by using in this way also here by using this particular network here, here people are uh, transferring if this switch is going to be get attacked if this switch is attacked there is a scenario and where it has to be rated through alternate path is there any alternate path it was there the alternate path this is the advantage if anyone hacks the routing switch automatically we need to find out the other path like this in the network the things are going to be get connected see here what are the different kinds of limitations which are there in this current network there are some applications which you are using there are some operating systems which you are using there are some hardware devices which you are using switches are going to be used to uh, manage the traffic in a distributed manner there is no certain view of the network which is shown to you in this particular scenario there are some limitations in the current network as i shown you in the particular diagram see here how we are identifying what are the limitations which are set in a particular network it should be a vendor specific network why because switches are going to be limited with a dynamic configuration according to the application specific requirement and also switches require the configurability by based on the operating systems and also here we are centralizing we are making a control which is centralized into a feasible traditional network how the limitations are set it out there are thousand lines of code which is to be compared by using that particular application in that scenario it should be routed properly it should be managed properly by the application which we are using and the operating system should be cost expensive and also the specialized packet which is going to forward information into the hardware millions of gates there are some 10 gb ram which is has to be set it out with all these uh, hardware configuration only the data is going to be transferred and in this uh, uh, diagram which is shown in the slide which is a current network to the software defined network how the things are going to be set it out if you observe there is both hardware as well as software with the help of application which is placed operating system is going to act as an interface between the hardware as well as the application part like this which is shown to you these are the packets packet 1 packet 2 and this is packet 3 which is forwarding information towards the packet by using operating system which is an interface and we are using multiple applications for our communication purpose to communicate with the software defined network what software defined network was and what kind of things are there which are presented in this architecture have a look in the diagram there are some control planes there are some data planes and there are some application planes which are going to be used in this software defined network architecture and see here here these all are data planes which are going to share information from a particular machine to machine or from a device to device by using a control plane control plane is nothing but the network operating system here in between we have an application plane where we are extracting the data separating the data from the control plane by using an abstraction network this was the thing and that data is going to be transferred to you with the help of uh, by using security by using a proper routing channel by using a proper traffic engineering and also there are some other applications which are comes under this network utilization network virtualization factor network function virtualization was the thing which is going to take care what kind of application has to be used how the traffic should be monitored how we are going to route 
to transfer information from one user to other user if there is any congestion happen or else if there is any security concern was there rather it should be rerouted the data should be rerouted and it, these are the things which has to be considered in a software defined network for a better communication purpose see this was a structured detailed structure diagram which is shown to you for our better understanding southbound operating uh, open api application uh, protocol interface as well as northbound application programming interface these are the two different kinds of apis application programming interfaces southbound and northbound whereas in northbound we are focusing in the application layer where network applications are going to be set out whereas in southbound layer we are focusing on the infrastructure layer what kind of infrastructure was provided to the user for making a better communication to the application layer with the help of a control layer which is network operating system see here this was the control layer where our network operating system was established and this was the infrastructure layer and this was the application layer in between uh, whereas control layer and application layer will communicate with northbound open api whereas this uh, control layer and infrastructure layer will be called as southbound open api open airflow and these are the software defined network as i told you software defined network it is a network architecture which is going to separate the control planes and also centralize the network control by using these controllers we can configure the things we can manage the things and we can provisioning and make it thing very simpler and there is a underlying layer which i told you which i shown you in the previous diagram also which is a specialized hardware as well as uh, conventional networks there are some key elements which should be considered while discussing about this software defined network architecture which are like centralized network controller programmable open application programming interfaces and standard communication interfaces these are the key elements which need to be uh, considered see the first one centralized network controller in this centralized control net, uh, network controller we are using a decoupled controllers as well as the data planes which are going to be centralized be controlled by the this particular controller and why network administrators are using this for making a better configuration in the network and also coming to open apis open apis are nothing but open application programming interfaces in the software defined network architecture these apis are going to support these apis are going to act as an interface between the hdn applications and control layers control layers as i told you this is a northbound interface whereas in standard communication interface which is a southbound interface where in southbound it is going to act as an interface between the control and infrastructure layers which is a southbound whereas in northbound it acts as an interface between the hdn application and control layers simple nana hdn application will stands on the top between control layer and in the uh, lower infrastructure layers if the things are happening between control and infrastructure it is a southbound if the things are happening in control and hdn it can be called as a northbound these are the things these are the key elements which should be considered in hdn and uh, that's it this is a small intro about uh, your machine to machine and also software defined network architecture and in the tomorrow's uh, next class i'm going to tell you about a detailed uh, differentiation about these particular networks and what are the things which are going to support this particular networks as well as how the things are going to be managed by using uh, ang network and also config networks such as things that's it thank you we'll meet in the next class so this is me signing off like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates